Hello everybody, Work. welcome to my channel, Ghost Gen 3. Today what I'm going to show you and demonstrate is obviously not so much my Glock right here, but the light itself. It has a green laser and light, very powerful one, <clears throat> and laser. And what I want to show you is, good thing for training is, and I don't want you guys to point lasers or lights at your eyes, just playing around. You could damage your eyes or something like that. This weapon is clear. Like I always say in my videos, I always check my weapons before I uh, do my videos. But anyways, what I'm going to demonstrate is 2 in the morning and I'm going to demonstrate when what happens, what it looks like as you the person, you guys are pretty much my camcorder, what it looks like when someone <clears throat> is, or you guys, when you guys have uh, lights and lasers on your guns, rifles, shotguns, what the other person, the suspect, your threat would feel when it's uh, strobe mode or just bright white or the green laser at them. It's important because I've done this in training and stuff. Then you know what your enemy, your suspect, your threat is actually seeing. So if you have someone break in your house or something like that, you're going to know exactly <clears throat> when you put it on them, you're going to see them. Great. Move if you have to, if they, depending if they have a weapon or whatever. But it's always good to know, oh, this is what it looks like. This is what the, the, the bad guy or the bad girl is looking at when I'm uh, pointing my laser or my light or both, a combination. So let's get to it right now and I'm going to show you. So let's hope this comes out through. And I'm going to be probably about, um, <clears throat> I'm going to start at about five feet and back up to about 10. That's a pretty pretty uh, good distance in case something happens and you guys know what it looks like and I'll be moving back and forth. So the first one's going to be um, just light and then strobe. Ready? So I'm going to start even right here at three feet I'll start. You know, I got a suspect, you're my bad guy. Say so freeze, freeze. That's what it looks like bright. Going back to 10. <clears throat> You're shining them up, maybe. Now, strobe. I'm moving back to about 10 feet. And up the close again. If I, I'm not going to get that close, of course. But let's say now, <clears throat> you light them up, but then you don't want to stay on him completely. You turn it off, move your location, get a strobe on him, maybe the single light. Okay, so that's basically your what it looks like at those distances and you're the bad person you're the good guy shining your light at them now we're gonna go straight laser and this is the green one so let's start here close I can turn it off I can move my location <clears throat> get the laser back on the person so I'm kinda of disorienting them give them the orders get your hands up get down now I'm gonna come closer a little bit of course I would never get this close I'm just showing you guys what that looks like at these distances Now to the side. Okay, so now we're gonna go into <coughs> full light and we're gonna go into laser and then strobe and laser. So let's start from here close so you see what it's like. Now you see both the laser and light. Now about 10 feet. Now we're gonna go strobe, white strobe and then green laser. I'm coming up close to you. And this is what it looks like blinding. You want to do it safe distance, get your hands up, get down to the ground. All of a sudden I'm going to change my angles. So you can see him at the side now. Now I move again. So he's blinded and as I'm moving, he doesn't know where I'm moving. He may hear me, but that's about it. Or she, or them. Never assume there's always one, one suspect or person. There's always more than one. And if it's one, great. That's what that looks like. So now you know what it looks like and what it feels like <clears throat> what you're doing to the person so anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video thought I'd make it quick and short at night time at daytime as well you can do this and I'm gonna do a daytime one so you see the differences and but basically this video is just to demonstrate of what your laser and light capability can be and what it <clears throat> the bad person is gonna feel when you're lighting that person up that's important to know you know just playing with it against the walls one thing you know training on targets but it's good to know and please don't do it with other people if you're not trained or professionally or in a with others being safe if you are and you know what you're doing you guys clear the weapon and what I do if you got one other person or another one you clear the weapon no mag in it have them clear the weapon even though you know it's safe it's always good to do two three times because doing this is is, is dangerous okay and there's always been accidents even with pros and I'm a professional but 
<clears throat> or take the light and laser off your gun and then just see what that looks like, you know, to be safe. But like I said, careful doing those kind of things. Anything with a gun is dangerous. And, uh, you know, you want to take everything serious. And don't point these things in the eyes, even in training, to the, per, uh, to the person or whatever. Bad person, well, hey, that's on them. But, you know, so a training buddy or whatever, you don't. Put it on their chest or forehead or something. But, you know, be careful of the eyes. Maybe have them close it because it is blinding. That's what these things are for. They're, they're not toys, although sometimes they may seem like it. So, anyways, uh, hope you guys liked it. There's my laser up close. Here's my strobe and that light, both light and laser. Here's my light. And here's full light just without the strobe. Anyways, you guys be safe. God bless you guys. Hope you guys have a great day. Subscribe. Click on the like button. Take care, my friends.